Guys, I'm out here this morning to do a big proof test on my e-sling, the equalizing extendable anchor sling. Some new thinking went into this uh, idea and I need to know how it's going to perform under conditions of extreme overload. So this morning, this is going to be the mother of all proof tests. I'm going to hit it with nine times its safe working load using my big um, stumping system. The, uh, this system can pull out big stumps like the hand of God. And as you look around this rig, your reaction should be, hey, this is bass backwards. We're looking in the wrong end of the telescope, and that's exactly right. Normally, the e-sling would be deployed on a bull rope within the block system. For example, like um, extending this line uh, across the landscape to a towing vehicle, you would use the e-sling to do a high-strength knotless connection and make that hook up with lighter bull line. But instead, this morning, we've got it set up on the business end of a 28 to 1 mechanical advantage, and we're going to hit it with some big force. How much force exactly? Well, hard to estimate, but my guess is that somewhere between uh, 20,000 and uh, 28,000 pounds are going to show up on that shackle. To try to get some kind of handle on that, I've spliced up a length of three-quarter inch T-Rex, nice uh, long eyes and a single strand uh, segment in the center. Teuf would say that's a 23,000 pound element and that's going to act as both a mechanical fuse to protect my sling and as sort of a poor man's uh, load cell to give me some indication of the force conditions at the top of the test. One other thing I might mention, one really nice feature of the e-sling is its ability to cut the forces by distributing to two anchors. Here, that's not the situation. We've got both loops around the same anchor, so I get a basic uh, baseline uh, strength measurement um, that uh, doesn't uh, take into account uh, rigging angle. This is set up with a 90 degree rigging angle and a straight pull. And you'll notice the two slings are uh, separated so they don't Indiana Jones and interfere with the ability of the sling to equalize. By the way, you're looking at the reason we're out here in the woods instead of at a nice cozy brake test machine, the ability of that stable braid to distribute the forces equally through four strands is key to this sling and I wanted to see how that worked uh, in the real world. Here's a close look at the sling. You see the lacing and the mechanical monitors backed up by the safety knot. Let's um, Let's get ready and uh, do this thing. I'm going to be cowering in my portable bomb shelter uh, at 90 degrees to the line of fire. And by the time the big tension comes into this rig, I'm going to be phoning it in from the next zip code. There are lethal forces involved here, and like they say on TV, don't try this at home.
We broke something. Let's go have a look. This is uh, this is exactly what I was hoping would happen. My fuse let go. Um, my desktop calculations told me that the sling, when it was populated with half-inch stable braid, should be able to deliver an MBS of uh, 25 to 27,000 pounds, which is absolutely huge for for a half inch line and from the look of it here um, the munters have held the knot is still uh, loose and uh, the sling looks like it's in perfect uh, shape uh, I expect my uh, rig is in fine shape you can see the uh, pulley took a trip um, that's why um, I'm basically a chicken when I'm around these kind of forces. Here's the other end of the of the T-Rex. Now this T-Rex is strong, strong stuff. 23,000 pounds is a lot of force, but um, I have the answer I want. Uh, I don't really know what the MBS of my sling is. What I do know is that uh, for any force level I'm going to use it at, um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be adequate. Thanks for watching. <laughs>